Hi everyone, my name is Ariana, this is Chad, and we are going to be watching episode one of Band of Brothers. Well, our country was attacked. It's a different. It wasn't like Korea or Vietnam. We was attacked. They said, who would like to volunteer for the airborne? What the hell is the airborne? And three fellows in that town committed suicide because oh, wow. they couldn't go. Nobody put up their hands. <laughs> I don't know what it was, the guy giving the, the speech was saying, but you get paid $50 a month more. So that made it 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Double the pay. Double yeah, that's, the pay. Nice. that's crazy to think four people committed suicide because they couldn't go. Right. Like it's one, it's, that's oh, so no. absolutely wild. Yeah, it's one thing if like they got caught being like cowards or something yeah. like that. But if there's like some reason you couldn't go. Like talk about, like could you imagine anything today having the the social pressure connected to it to making you want to commit suicide no. for feeling like you missed some kind of mark or something that's so crazy is this all done in sepia well they're going for the saving prep yeah. look so it's got like a bleach pass filter mm -hmm. on it and it's really high contrast you just got real technical real fast i was just mentioning an instagram <laughs> filter well they didn't put an instagram filter well, i on. know <laughs> stop <laughs> So this is all airborne then, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay. Easy company! They all look so miserable right now. now. The channel coast is socked in with rain and fog. No jump tonight. The evasion has been postponed. We're on a 24-hour stand -down. That would be stressful to be like, geared up for <laughs> doing something extremely scary and then being told like, oh, no, 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 you gotta wait. You're like, oh, right. man, I was all geared up. Cause then, but then you have to like sit and think like about that. it even longer exactly what they're doing right here like, i couldn't even imagine that just having your brain churn this whole time after you're like already ready to go why does homie look like michael fassbender <laughs> he don't... okay i thought i was losing it four o'clock in chicago happy hour huh <laughs> yeah jeez civilized place for civilized men should have been born earlier next <gasps> oh it's the guy from billions mm-hmm okay We'll go to Chicago. I'll take you there. Yeah. We'll see. Actually, he knows from there. Oh. Oh, him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this gonna stop them like, when they all get together? Oh, look how they made him look like a little baby. Right. <laughs> you people are at the position <laughs> of attention! <laughs> I'm sorry, I know this is supposed to be taking me seriously, but I just watched like two days of Friends and it, Well, this came it's out It's shocking me right this now. This came out in the height of Friends being huge, so oh. it was it was a thing back then too. Volunteering for the parachute infantry is one thing for Conte, but you've got a long way to prove that you belong here. Your weekend pass oh, is revoked. Dirt in the rear sight app, but your pass revoked. <laughs> Jeez. That is bonkers. It's like he's just not gonna like someone's face and revoke a weekend pass. You wanna kill Germans? Yes, sir. Not with this. Now, thanks to these men and their infractions, every man in the company who had a weekend pass has lost it. For minor infractions like that, they're supposed to, like, you know, make you do push-ups and right. stuff like that. Taking your weekend pass is like, you really did something wrong. Right. You know? Private White, why are you not in your PT gear? I asked you a question, Private. I wonder if there's, like, something going on at home or something. Right. He, like, needed that pass or something. Right. I was really expecting him to say something about his mother dying or yeah, something. Yeah, me too, yeah. <laughs> Poor guys. I'm gonna say something. <laughs> I really feel like you shouldn't. What is it? Why well, come we're the only company marching every Friday night? Why do you <laughs> think, Private Random? Lieutenant Sobel hates us, sir. <laughs> well, you're not wrong, I feel like. He just hates you. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, sir. <laughs> Why is there no water in your canteen? You drank from your canteen, didn't you? That's Jordan, how you get a you heat casualty, like. <laughs> All 12 miles of the march immediately. <gasps> yes, sir. Fall out! Oh, man. I want the names of six men. Their infractions and your disciplinary recommendations on my desk by 0130. Oh, my gosh. What infractions, sir? Find some. Oh, that's tough. It's that's... very Spartan. Yeah, that's... Come back, do that. You just broke both your legs, Private Gordon. <laughs> That was a really cool transition. Yeah. Oh, oh my 
my god. Like, hey, we're gonna, you're gonna train through this because we're probably gonna see it. Yeah, smell it, dude. Oh, Sick. god. You have 50 minutes to the top and back, and I will be watching you. That looks like it would take me 15 minutes to get here. Right. Also, they're in Georgia, so you know it's, it's just... It's so humid and gross and nasty. Disgusting. And you're in full of that. Aww. Aww. Easy Look at has that. the finest performance record in the entire 2nd Battalion. Isn't that Lieutenant Winters leading Easy Company in PT? I was planning on giving him a set of these today. Why don't you do it? He'd be proud to get them from you. Pornography. Contraband. Non-regulation clothing. Contraband. <laughs> Had 200 prophylactic kits in his footlock. How in the name of God was he gonna have the strength to fight the war? <laughs> <laughs> Private Tipper has spare time for so much correspondence. Too much correspondence? Be considered contraband? Yeah, too many personal letters. All weekend passes are canceled, officers included. Yeah, of course, yeah. <sighs> this is so intense. This man is very well, serious. Like, and wasn't he supposed to be giving him somebody some I think some that's why he did this, is yeah. so that he could be like, oh, you're messing up, so yeah. you don't get the award. He'll serve as my executive officer. Oh, he's... Thank you, sir. As a test of your organizational skills and command potential, I am designating you mess officer for 14 days. Oh, oh we were like, we were so happy for him. And then... Yeah. I like spaghetti. <laughs> oh, he's going to make him run. Yes. Spaghetti ain't supposed to be hard. This ain't spaghetti. This is army noodles with ketchup. Yep. <laughs> oh, come on, gonorrhea. As a fellow Italian, you should know that calling this crap spaghetti is more. <laughs> they called him gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> what has changed? Get it up! Well, the easy company is running up curry! Oh, you. Oh, oh that's sick. Mm. Oh, that's cool he's running too. Yeah. He's like shook if by it. Well, but you know too, it's like yeah. part of the dividend of you working him so hard is that you work him into diamonds. Like right. they are as badass as he wants yeah. them to be now, you know. Those are like straight up football helmets. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, he looks stressed. He looks scared. Gosh. It's scary to do now with, like, our current equipment. Right. Imagine. This is in the 40s. Uh-uh. You know. Well, that's that. why he's like, no one wanted to volunteer that extra 50 bucks a week, though. Well, and like you said, too, you didn't even know what it was. Yeah. Uh, jump out of a perfectly good airplane. Oh, God. Yeah, that would be... That would be so sketchy. Like, honestly, like, I've been skydiving and it was okay. But it's clearly not the same thing and stuff, you know what I mean? But, like, I don't, I wouldn't want to do this. Like, a lot of those guys, I have some airborne friends and their hips are just, like, wrecked and they're mm -hmm. only in their 30s. <laughs> are those dusty jump wings? How do you expect to slay the Huns with dust on your jump wings? <laughs> Even the music stood at attention. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Easy Company. Good evening, sir. I want you to know that I'm damn proud of each and every one of you. Karahi! And that's just the name of the mountain, right? That they've been running up. Yeah, there, but right? it's probably like some Native American thing or yeah. something like that that means something specific. Sorry, I just have such a hard time with his face. And I don't mean to, like... No, I think it's purposeful casting. Yeah. I think they... <laughs> Ross wanting to be taken seriously <laughs> makes you not want to take him seriously. So I think it was stunt casting, like, on purpose. Oh, man. If it was, like, Jason Statham, you would take him yeah, seriously. Yeah, exactly. We should sit tight and let the enemy team come in our killing zone. They're right out there somewhere. Let's just get him. This is gonna be that thing where he's like a hard ass when it's all just mm -hmm. like paperwork, but when he's like actually <laughs> walking out with his pistol. <laughs> well, he was right. Yeah. They were right out there. Captain, you've just been killed along with 95% of your company. Leave three wounded men on the ground and report back to the assembly area. This is actually good because if Easy Company consistently is knocking out records, that mm -hmm. shows the company's good. Then if this kind of thing happens and the easy company looks bad, well, who's, who's fault right, is that? Right, exactly. 
so. He gets a little jumpy in the field. Mm -hmm. He gets jumpy and then you get killed. <laughs> I can get them information. We're moving out. Well, you know, I'm always fumbling with grenades. Be easy <laughs> if one went off by accident. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that's so bad. We're heading here up, my friend. Fortress Europa. I wonder if they're going to start <laughs> in France or something. Oof be a big hitter but it's 43 so i mean yeah. i don't know when they got to germany and i have a case of about 69 hidden in your foot locker <laughs> in your foot locker actually <laughs> 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 this could turn into a real nice trip yeah right <laughs> seriously to engage and defeat the enemy that's a postcard your right. favorite letter Oh man, how many deep is that? Yeah, no, I know. It smells yeah. like trash. <laughs> uh, well, and they're smoking. Yeah. Hitler gets one of these right across the windpipe. Roosevelt changes Thanksgiving to Joe Toy Day. <laughs> <laughs> My brother's in North Africa. He says it's hot. Really? It's hot hmm? in Africa? Shut up. <laughs> the point is, it don't matter where we go. He ain't Catholic. Neither is Sobel. <laughs> He's not Catholic, so he must be a Quaker. A joke. He's a joke. He's a joke. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Fire! Ooh, that's, a, that's already such a crappy mm -hmm. place to be, let alone people fist fighting. Fighting over Sobel. That's smart. Oh, I love these dynamics. Well, I mean, I guess they could be fighting in England too, right? right? I mean, there's yeah. England got invaded. Mm -hmm. You want to kill him? Two basic types of fighting positions. Oh, is that Donnie Wahlberg? I saw him earlier. Yeah. I just didn't want to be that jerk that called it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that was tight. <laughs> Sobel's lane. Are they still training? I Doesn't it seem late tell. in the yeah. game to still be training? Why is there a fence here? Give me the map. Jeez. He does get squirrely in the field. Connie, Lars, get him back. Take cover behind those trees. It's funny how many British people are playing Americans in the show. Okay. No, there should be no fence here. Um, <clears throat> we, we could go over it, sir. Well, the point is that if there's not supposed to be a fence, you're lost. Make it a good mage, you can goose this smuck. Get us moving? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah. yes. Oh, you got it. You got it. You got it. Come on. Sounds like a bad idea. It sounds like a terrible idea. Isn't that the intersection? No, sir, it's here. You're full grid off. Is there a problem, Captain Sobel? Major Horton, what, what is he? Did he join us? What is the goddamn hold up, Mr. Sobel? <laughs> a barbed wire fence! Oh, that dog just ain't gonna hunt. That dog just ain't going on. You cut that fence and get this goddamn platoon on the move! Yes, sir! <laughs> that dude's got the biggest balls! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna turn it. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, also, like, whose property are they <laughs> trespassing on? Whose fence are they, are they cutting? Did they just cut, yeah. I'm just trying to get home, man. <laughs> You've captured me. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be the enemy? As a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're definitely still training. Okay. Who was the idiot who cut that man's fence? I was ordered to, sir. By who? Major Horton, sir. Major Horton? Yes, sir. Major Horton is on leave. <laughs> oh, man. No. You had to know that was coming back. Yeah. Oh, no. Simon Pegg, that's his name. Oh, it's driving me crazy. I kept wanting to say Stephen Fry. I'm like, it's definitely not Stephen Fry. Lieutenant Winters. Now for crying out loud, this spelled court-martial. 
No, sir, I do not understand. Your orders to me were to inspect the latrines at 10 hundred hours. No runner found me, Captain. Irregardless. Oh, <laughs> okay. yeah, that... Irregardless. <laughs> You failed to oh, do you are so. such a prick. Let such a failure of duty by my own XO go unpunished. Your options are quite simple, Lieutenant. Denial of a 48-hour pass for 60 days. Stand <laughs> at attention. Or you may initiate a letter of appeal and request a trial by court-martial. Trial. You spend your weekends on the base anyway, Dick. Be a man. Take the punishment. Borrow your pen, sir. Yeah. Yeah, no one else in trial is going to support you. No. You have ridiculous trumped-up charges. I request trial by court martial. I mean, he had to know that. Right. That's why he said, "Just you stay on. Just take your punishment. You stay on." He obviously wanted him to. Yeah. I don't know why, but he wanted him to. Winner scrambles eggs while the rest of us make the big jump with Sobel. Oh, maybe he's trying to get rid of him. Uh huh. So we're going through with this, right? We gotta do something. But we'd all better be clear of the consequences. I don't care about the consequences. John, we could be lined up against a wall and shot. I'm ready to face that. And every one of us had better be too. We haven't really been like that since the revolution. <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> We're gonna line them up and shoot them. Like, ah. Me neither. No, because you're not gonna make it very far. No, right. Yeah. The way it's playing out. Out there cutting fences. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wish to serve. Oh, so they're just gonna. Um, oh. As a non-commissioned officer, an easy company. Oh, that's huge. Just don't put easy company. Just say under Sobel. Yeah. Then it doesn't necessarily sound like desertion. All right, boys. I'll to have you all shot. <laughs> Sergeant Harris. Sir. Turn in your stripes, collect your gear. Sergeant Ranny, consider yourself lucky I'm only busting you to private. Now get out of my office and get out of my sight. Wait, did he kick one guy? Yep. But demote one guy to private and then everyone yep. else nothing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's so That's weird. That's exactly what just happened. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> It probably makes his case, court martial case, I was weaker. That. Sir, most of the men would, would never do point. this. And these few sergeants convinced all of the other NCOs in your company to turn in their stripes. They did my man dirty putting him in that chair. <laughs> he looks like a little boy. Yeah, he does. I think that's the whole point. <laughs> I, I think it was. Dude, it's him. He is the problem. It's so obvious. Yeah, how many things happen? I believe you fielded one of the finest companies of soldiers I've ever seen. Division has established a parachute training school at Chilton Foley. Frankly, I can't think of anyone more qualified to command such a school than you are. Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, thank you. I'm reassigning you to Chilton Foley. He's great at training. He's the, it's actually kind of practice. perfect because he technically yeah. is great at training. Yeah. War if it needs you elsewhere. <laughs> opens the door. Good luck at Chilton Foley, Ed Herbert. <laughs> Let us down now. I was thinking he was, I don't know, like he was going to just get like shit canned or something, but. Right. I mean, it works out. Well, because he's not a bad trainer, like you said. Like you said, like, they made basically yeah. the best company, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sour. This catches up with the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what this is, yeah. Still having a ball if you think you're off, isn't you not? Oh, yeah. Also. Freaking muzzle discipline. He's just yeah. waving it around. <laughs> Christ, Dick, I was just shooting crap through them. I mean, come on. You've been with these guys for what? Two years? I've been here for six days. What if you'd won? Mm, that's true. Either way is bad because you don't want to owe them money either. Mm -hmm. Put yourself in a position where you can take from these men. Exactly right. That's also true. It's very true. On the last training jump, I had a compass. Okay. Ramsbury. A pottery. Mm, you're right. It's Normandy. Shit. The ultimate field problem. That's funny, they just figured it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I took a compass. In Omaha, here. H hour, D day. Now we will drop behind this Atlantic wall five hours before the 4th Infantry lands at Utah. So, right, yeah. how cool. Easy Company will destroy that garrison. Isn't that the bright where saving private Ryan? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, what he just described was Tom Hanks going and smashing the beach, yeah. and then they're going to drop behind mm -hmm. it. Going his brother in Italy? Henry? Killed in Monte Casino. What do you think I should do? If it were me, 
I tell him. I also don't think I could sit around knowing that and not telling him. So oh, like, no. I got it just the faster the better. Channel coast is socked in with rain and fog. No jump tonight. All right, now we're exactly. Now the here. question, though, is like, how but bad does that throw them off the plan of like destroying the garrison? And exactly. Stuff, you, know? you look 1A to me. You're a giant. Got the wrong goddamn jacket. Hellboy to find out. Oh man, I feel like this next episode's gonna be doozy. We're right now. Who's the? Can I actually make it through the one of the, the reactions in the first three without crying? Sorry about your brother, Bill. Sorry for my mom. Take this over with you. I'll meet up with you over there. Gentlemen, Doc Rowe is handing these out for air sickness. Orders are every man takes one now, another 30 minutes in the air. Good luck. God bless you. I'll see you in the assembly area. Oof. Because, you know how, not to draw comparisons, I'm not trying to predict or anything, but you know how I'm saying from Ryan, how, like, like Ryan was airborne and they all misdropped. Oh, like, yeah. every no, single one of them, point. you know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, this is the same producers, uh, Tom yeah. Hanks was. and Steven Silver so was on that, too. Mm. So maybe this is, like, a play on all this those. Because, like, like I said, those extra packs and all that good stuff. Yeah, here's the stuff we didn't cover yeah. in Save and Prepper, right? mm -hmm. yeah. No, that's a really interesting point, yeah. I figure they're just making it dramatic because for the first time they're actually going to be in a hot zone. Oh yeah, absolutely. I was just—I mean, no, it's a good—it's a good point. I, like I said, that's just where my head went instead of something possibly going wrong. Also, like having homie take the point to be like, "Hey, I'll see you over in assembly." Right, makes it feel like they're not all going to end up yeah. exactly where they're supposed to be. Oof. Okay. Damn, dude. That air signal is making me loopy. Yeah, they're probably giving him like <laughs> benzene. Yeah, or they're just trying to do this. Like, let's see if you can land exactly where you're supposed to be while you're all it's doped so up. Like what? It's the forties. Who knows? What. Yeah, who knows what was in that at all? It's kind of a cool setup though. How they're about to show this. Yeah. They're also doing a good job of making this sound like hell. Yeah. <laughs> like we're gonna die. Do you, technology. Technology advanced so fast in such a short period of time because, like, think about like the Wright brothers and like. <laughs> well, it also makes me think about them. how because we always try to do everything cutting edge, right? It's like, man, if you guys just waited a little more, like airplanes would be so much safer, and right? Stuff, you know, but everything was always like brand new inventions for. Exactly. I mean, just over the course of World War II, there was mm -hmm. all these different kinds of uh, weapons and stuff being developed right. during the war to be used in the same war. Exactly. We got approval for like a bat bomb that was just filled with bats that would have little canisters of a uh, napalm on their legs, Jeez. and we would drop them. The plan was to drop them in Japan, and all the bats would go and hang up because all the pagoda style buildings, and it would light like Japan on fire. And they got approval, but it never got used because right afterward they got approval for the new the A bomb. Right. Oh wow, that's that's insane when you that's, think of it that way. You went so from that crazy. to nuclear. Oh, so man. crazy. Yeah, so, you know, giving a whole country cancer. Like. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Let alone um, just lighting everyone on fire. Yeah. Was super cool, too. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, With bats, though. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> like, right. to yeah. that. Yeah, Pete would have a field Ooh, day on that. Oh, gosh. This is going to be a good next episode, though. Unless that Benzo is real Whoa, good. Is that door just open? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> My man. It's the Benzo, man! Yeah, it's <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. There's no way that he is feeling just extra chilling. sober right there. Yeah, just chilling. Oh, Next to the open no. one. Maybe he's connected to something we couldn't really see. Oh, hell no. Yeah, they might be strapped in. I know, they yeah. seem like they're flying very close. Right very there. close. That looks crazy, though. You know, also, this... you have to be so precise. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, is that you see what... Yeah, that that's beach? what I'm saying. Yeah. Is that the beach? That's cool. This looks like that scene from Fury, too, and they're looking up and there's all the planes flying mm -hmm. next to each other. Yeah, I think this is a cool way to do the first episode. Mm -hmm. Good luck, and let us beseech all the blessings of the Almighty God upon his great noble undertaking, General Dwight D. Eisenhower. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think it's um, it's cool 
to like it's it's a tried and true method to do the like start with a, a opener that shows you where we're currently at and then right, right, right. catch us up on you know why we care about these guys and that's what I think they accomplished the most out of this episode is like oh for sure care. and I, honestly I really like the fact that like we are going to get to know the characters a little bit more than what right. we've been able to in the last couple of movies absolutely yeah. um, and I'm really excited about that I know it's going to make it sting a whole lot more <laughs> that's why I like it. <laughs> like, it's, uh, that's always hard you know because like I'm already pretty attached like I felt so bad for the guy like finding out that his brother's yeah, dead from sure. a letter Find, that's yeah, not like even that. for him mm-hmm. yeah no that is really right so I'm but, excited I think um it's interesting because it's almost in, in order of um, intensity. It's like Saving yeah. Private Ryan has very little on the crew. Right. And then Fury has a little more, I think. Yeah. And then this one now is like had a whole episode that we got to dedicate right. just to kind of, you know, knowing these guys and being in their head. Which is also good, too, because it allows you to have more nuance with characters. Mm-hmm. Like, when you have just a movie, a lot of times you have to have everyone be, like, an archetype. It's like, uh, this is the guy yes. who's like this, and this is mm-hmm. the guy who's like this. And in this one, we don't have to do that because we do know them a little better. We right. We kind of know what they're about. We For did sure. spend the vast majority of our time with the officers, I feel like. Yes, I feel like that's a big one. So I think as time goes on, mm-hmm. now that they're kind of established, we'll maybe spend a little more time kind of getting right. to uh, know who the NCOs are and what their, what their deal is. and. Uh- and and even potentially below. I mean, one of the guys, I think, is still around. Is now a private. So like, yeah, that's a, that's an interesting. Um, I still don't understand exactly how that all worked out, but whatever. <laughs> um, uh, no, yeah. So if you guys could, if you guys have a little bit more insight, so I want to know, like, because you that you got lost there too on like the point of the no, letters. That was- no, the, not the letters. I just didn't understand the punishment. It was like one guy's kicked out of my unit. Another guy gets reduced from s- sergeant to a private. And then the other guys, it seemed like nothing. So it's like, I don't understand. I feel like that was just because was... they couldn't. Maybe that guy, those two had like the l- most actual, like kind of real infractions that have happened. Yeah, that's what I have to assume. At all. And that way they ha- they out. have to dish some type of punishment. Yeah, they can't let weird. them all go free. Yeah, yeah, it was really weird. So... The other but one is um, that I still don't understand is that dude when he was stressing um, in basic when they were going to Oh, go yeah. I was going to bring that up. I was yeah. like, that hasn't come back up again, has really it? never really seems to have come back up. No, so when, when I heard someone's brother had died, I was thinking, yeah. oh, maybe it was him. Yeah. But it's like, no, that was the other guy. So I, yeah. Um, so I assume that's maybe for later or it was... Maybe just what it looked like. Maybe he just was in a bad mood about it. Yeah, I mean, he was, was just like, not hey, David happy. Schwimmer sucks. I'm not going to go do that, you know? Also, I'm so happy I don't have to suffer <laughs> through David Schwimmer. The words, like, that would be tough. He wasn't bad. It just, I literally have watched so much Friends in the last, like, yeah, week because yeah, yeah. of, like, Thanksgiving and stuff mm-hmm. and oh, yeah. whatever. And I just, like, I could not. When he came on the screen, <laughs> it literally... I could not help but laugh out well, it's loud. Good, and I know that's terrible. You but... felt the same way everyone else did. Okay, watching. cool. Like I said, it was stunt casting. Like, Friends was huge at the time that yeah. this came out, you know? Um when I, yeah, it was, it was, everyone immediately was like, you know, oh yeah, the freaking Ross is you know, yeah. in the army, how funny. So that was definitely stunt casting, like on purpose. Some of the other choices, there's some really interesting choices in here. I know that what's his face um, from early edition who plays Nick's, I know he ends up being like a really big player. So mm-hmm. he was also not very heavily in. Like most of this episode, the main character kind of felt like it was, um, what's his name? Winners. The, winners, yeah. Winners kind of felt like the main character. Winners and the, uh, oh, what was the other, I can't remember what the other one's name is. Probably Nick's. Next, yeah. Is that the um, dark hair guy? From yeah, yeah, Friday yeah. Night Lights? Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, from yeah. Friday Night Lights, yeah. Yeah, I think he gets. I don't know. Like I said, I've only seen like ha- the first half of this episode. I think when I was well, twelve, and then I saw um, like way down the line. I've seen like one of the episodes, and right. so it's kind of like trying to piece together like who's important and what happens. And and just so we're clear of all the movie reactions we- and shows we've done. It's the first one I get to watch with Chad where he yeah. doesn't know what's going on either yeah, and it yeah, feels yeah. so much better. <laughs> I don't really need to ask you questions. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fair. Yeah, I don't a lot. Um, so, yeah, it'll be um, it'll be interesting seeing because my, my theory is that they kind of wanted to show us what they didn't get a chance right. to show us in Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. Um, these guys being airborne instantly makes it where we don't have to redo the beach landing scene. Right, exactly. Because these guys jumped over all of that, you know? Right. So I'm very, but, but like Ariana pointed out, um, that was a big thing is they kept complaining that all their airborne guys kept having random drops and then just getting kind of collected up into other random little, you know, groups. So I'm curious if that happens to these guys and they all end up getting kind of um, thrown into other companies. The other thing is there's just like whole segments of the war that they just don't even go into you know in saving private ryan so yeah there's a lot of those things that'll be very interesting and because it's a show it also gives you more time if they do want to spend more time 
looking at like this is what the chaplains were up to and this right, is what right, the right. armored guys were up to and this is what the other guys were up to so it'll be really interesting so alright so that's episode one down and I think that's it yep alright cool see you guys next time see ya